Hello students, this is uh, Dr. Rafiq. Um, in this video, I'll show you how to uh, download and install the UML plugins into your NetBeans. And um, the, you can find the link, this link, uh, on your Blackboard under the assignment section. Um, so the next step is by making sure which version of NetBeans you are working on. So you can see it here. I'm working on the NetBeans IDE 8.1, or you can go to Help menu, then About. And this is the version, uh, the current version that I'm working on. Next, let's go back to the website here. Going to the right uh, version, click Download. You'll download the uh, file or the package into the downloads and now next step is to uncompress this uh, package or this file and then you'll be good to go to the next step so let's switch to NetBeans again go to tools menu plugins and then download it add plugins and this is where i saved it and now you can select all these files by pressing by holding the the control button plus a control a then open i am because this is because i've already installed it you'll see it here and then you can follow the instructions that will be installed and uh, after clicking this button here, install. So after adding that, you'll see the files here. Click install, and then click on the next uh, button or close it in order to be ready to use it. Next, I'll show you where to find it. So here you can go to Windows, and then I can see the Easy UML Designer. This is the UML uh, interface. And then uh, here I can drag and drop the components or the classes, the UML of the classes that I want to design. Here I'll do the student uh, class. This is the, the name of the class that I, assuming I already uh, designed. And this is, as we mentioned, this is the UML. So I can define the, um, the data field here. And uh, you can add more data fields if you want. Integer uh, STD ID, such an example, and so on. You can add all these components here underneath. In the uh, third section, you can add the methods. So here is the first method. Let's say this is the print method. And uh, you can set this is as the first one. You can add or override any other methods. So here, uh, such an example, set name to set the names. And here you can define uh, input parameters to the method and so on. So here is the first one. If you have other uh, classes or interfaces, then you can just do the same way. So here is the other one. And uh, you can say that if this one is uh, and uh, the person has some features here, you can add some other features as you needed. So then uh, if we have a relation between those two, we can use any of these rows to represent the relation. And this is uh, one of the relations that you can set is, uh, is a relation that represents the inheritance. So you can set which one is the source, which one is the target, and so on. So just pick and here is uh, a representation of that. So now we have a student that is connected to the person class, and this relation is 
uh, an inheritance relation. Now, after that, you can either export uh, the image or you can do different ways, the whole diagram, and then you can save it. I can save it anywhere, and this is stduml, and I am saving it in my documents, and you can find it there. So uh, this is all about, and we have other uh, advanced um, features within this uh, plugin that we can do, but I'll post it in a separate video. So uh, this is uh, the UML diagram, and this is a way of representing uh, graphically the project that you are working on, and it is a very important way to demonstrate your your project, the relations um, among the classes, interfaces, or other kinds of um, components. And this is for today.